Good morning, everybody. It, we are about to head off on our Thanksgiving trip. It is a uh, travel day. So travel day is a day that I both love and I both hate. Um, I love once we get on, on the road and moving. I think that's great fun. But man, is there a lot to do before we can get going. So I got to get to work. There's a whole bunch of stuff I got to get going, get the truck hooked up so we can get on the road. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, so one of the first things you guys want to do uh, on travel day is make sure that you have proper uh, tire inflation. Uh, a lot of people that deal with these blowouts and stuff like that, like we have in the past. Um, a lot of that can be avoided as long as you're taking the, the proper time to make sure that your tires are inflated. You want to look at the side of the tire and there's going to be the cold PSI. And you want to make sure that these trailer tires are always inflated uh, to that max pressure of cold PSI. That's how trailer tires work the best. So, um, our blowouts on the tires were, were simply because I neglected to change them when I should have. They were getting older and whatnot. I know a lot of people are going to say that there's China bomb. Uh, tires. Uh, we've rolled around on uh, so-called China Bomb tires for years, thousands of miles. Didn't have any issues until just recently when uh, I hadn't changed them out in time. So I think uh, you just need to make sure that you're staying on top of your tires, inspect them at every stop, make sure that they are inflated properly, uh, and watch those date codes and make sure that you're uh, replacing them when they get to be uh, uh, two, three years old, somewhere along that range. All right, guys, wanted to touch on the date codes again in case anybody wasn't familiar with that. I know I wasn't at first and had to uh, learn. <laughs> so this number here is what you're looking at, this four-digit number. And what that means is these tires were manufactured on the third week of 2023. It's currently November of 2023, so they're not the newest tires, but they're still definitely well within uh, the range that you want as far as uh, tires go. So we should be good to go with these. All right, guys, and another little tip that might seem obvious to, to some people, but, but it wasn't to me at first, is always make sure that your, your spare is inflated as well. And it's best to do it when you're somewhere safe and you don't have to do it on the side of the road. I mean, it uh, is definitely easier to do when you can do it here in the safety of home or home base or at the campsite or something like that. Just make sure that that spare is inflated to the proper PSI so that if you do find yourself in the situation on the side of the road trying to change a tire, you can just swap it over real quick. You don't have to worry about inflating this. Alright y'all, so we are finally on the road. Took us a little longer to get going uh, than I had hoped for, but that seemed to always be the, the, the case uh, when you've got the family trying to get them all out the door at the same time. But we're, we're finally moving. We are heading back uh, home. We, we moved to Arkansas from Dallas-Fort Worth for those that don't know. So we are actually heading back home uh, to see friends and family for Thanksgiving. Our daughter uh, still lives there. Our grandson is there. I do have a 14 year old son who still lives with us. He and my wife are in a different vehicle. Um, being we used to live there, we still have things that we need to bring back to Arkansas. Um, so we try to take a little bit every time we're there so that uh, a little easier on us to get it back. So they're in a truck behind me. They're not far behind, um, but looking forward to seeing. We, we feel kind of weird. We're kind of, uh, we moved out to a place that a lot of people love to go camping. Um, Arkansas is beautiful. If you haven't been there, you need to check it out. They've got some amazing state parks. Corps of Engineer Parks are great out here as well. We absolutely love it. But we feel kind of weird because we're always the people that are leaving the uh, beautiful countryside to go back towards the city uh, to, to, to camp sometimes because we still have a lot of friends and family there. So that's why you'll see us doing a lot of uh, campground tours uh, over there in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But if you haven't already, um, 
I'd ask you to subscribe to our, we have a Facebook channel where we do a lot of Arkansas content. Um, it's called Arkansas RVers and Campers. And uh, if, you, if you subscribe or follow us on Facebook over there, you're gonna get a lot more content that you're not gonna see on the YouTube channel. It's just impossible for me to video everything put on there. So there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be on the uh, Facebook group. Again, it's Arkansas RVers and Campers. We would love to have you guys. Uh, come join join the group and uh, we'd love to talk to y'all and see y'all out there so let's head to pilot knoll it is uh in highland village texas right off of lake Louisville. so it's a pretty campground but it is kind of in the city it's real uh close to flower mound uh, Louisville, uh, those two cities over there in texas so we are heading there uh, looking forward to meeting you guys there see you then All right, guys, welcome to Pilot Knoll Park. Uh, this again is in the city of Highland Village. This is the check-in uh, booth right here. Um, however, we got here late and there's actually a check-in uh, little device here, this yellow box that you see on the left, where you, they will email you before your arrival with a check-in code. And what I like about it is, is it is 24 hour access. So if we come in late at night from visiting family, go out to watch a movie, have a late dinner, anything like that, we can still come in and just pop our code into that box there and the gate will lift up and let us in. There are some other parks around here that uh, aren't so nice that will lock you out at 10 p.m. So that's not the case here. Um, you, you can get in any, whenever you need to, so pretty convenient. Good morning, everybody, from Pilot and Old Campground in Highland Village, Texas, on Lake Louisville. Just wanted to give you another view. This is actually from the front of our site. We've got an interesting little site here. It's got like a, a old-timey fence around it. It's it's not going to keep a dog or anything in. It looks like it could have been used for like a horse corral or something at one time. There is a uh, our Facebook group banner hanging up. So if you guys haven't already, please look for us on Facebook at Arkansas RVers and Campers. Uh, follow us there. There's a lot more content there that isn't going to be on uh, YouTube. So please check that out. We are in uh, Site 54. It's a pretty decent sized site. I will say there was a little challenge with uh, leveling here. But as long as you come prepared with all the uh, proper leveling blocks, you shouldn't have a problem. I just got done setting up the fence and everything, so pardon my mess. The basement's open here. But as you can see, we actually had two picnic tables. Uh, this one here is actually movable, so we can kind of move that around inside the site. You're going to have your fire pit. And then, of course, the gorgeous view out to the lake. I, got the, uh, I just got done setting up the uh, fence so that the uh, dogs could come sit out here with us. We, don't, we never leave them unattended out here, but it's nice to be able to come out here and uh, have a fire or sit at the picnic table and have them off leash while we're out here with them so that they can actually move around without getting tangled up in leads. Pretty nice sight. All right, guys, let's see what else they have. Okay, guys, so we just came through the gate. And after you come into the gate here, the dump station is immediately to your right here. So if you needed to uh, pull in and dump, you can either do it uh, as soon as you get here, or you can come back out and do it before you leave, which is what we normally do. The dump station looks like it does have lanes that run uh, both directions, though. So you can come in from either direction. And there are two uh, inlets, so two people could dump at the same time. And sometimes they have two lanes, but there's only one uh, one sewer hole, so it doesn't matter if you can pull in two vehicles or not. That's not the case here. So two two uh, trailers can dump at the same time. All right, and this. Once you come in and if you turn to your first left, this is gonna take you back to the RV park where we're staying. Very pretty drive through here. It's uh, it's kind of deceiving because you look like you're out in the middle of the, the forest, the woods, and then, I mean, you are, you're on the lakefront. However, you are super close to uh, 
the city is there's a movie theater right uh, around the corner there's a whole foods uh, every restaurant imaginable that you could think of is right around the corner there's of course a walmart right around the corner um, i wouldn't say within walking distance but probably half a mile so very convenient in order to come and get things that you need uh, or if you forget something or if you're just one of those campers that isn't uh, keen into cooking out every night, there's plenty of dining options right here. This is a nice little loop to walk the dogs on. So here we are coming up on the fork. It is a one-way fork. You have to go to the right when you're coming in. But again, this is a, a peninsula. You, you'll notice that's a, that's a theme with some of my favorite places, is that you are camping out on uh, water. And it's nice to have uh, waterfront sites on both sides. These ones in the middle are going to be pull-throughs. But everything on the outside is going to have some sort of lake access or lake view. And there are some decent sized rigs out here. I don't think you have any trouble with anything 45 foot. So, in fact, I think I've seen a few as far as toy haulers go. This is the beginning of the loop. Check out this lake view right here. These sites back right up to it. It's pretty nice. There is a bathhouse up here, which I will try to get into for y'all and show you what that looks like. But you can see, just like in the uh, Crystal Springs uh, video, which I did, which if you haven't seen, you should go check that out as well. But you can pull your boat right up behind your campsite and beach it right there behind your camper if, you, if you've got a boat. So very nice if you're into the water sports or fishing. Some great fishing out on Lake Louisville. I used to live out here and uh, do a lot of cat fishing. We used to do bow fishing and uh, go bow fishing for alligator gar, and that was a lot of fun too. Small playground for the kids. sites down here on the end of the peninsula are very popular. Um, I suggest definitely booking far in advance if you want to try to snag one of these, but they're nice. They're very nice. There's a day use area here as well. We'll try to go uh, take a look at that next. This is an interesting site. It uh, is a pull through, uh, but it's on the uh, lake side. And it, it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see from here, but all your connections are actually on the uh, other side. So you actually have to run your hose and your electric from one side of the camper down uh, under that fence onto the retaining wall below you. So it's, it's a little interesting. Great view, but interesting setup. playground for the kids and it's just adjacent to the bathhouse
what do you guys think? It's, it's, a, it's a nice campground, I think. Um, it's very convenient to the Denton and Dallas County areas. For us, we uh, have a lot of family in Collin County around Frisco and McKinney. And for that, it's a little far. It's about a 40 minute drive uh, from there. So uh, not the most convenient location to Collin County, but if you're gonna be in the Dallas, uh, Denton areas, this is perfect. Facebook banner right there for Arkansas RVers and campers. So as you can see, we're almost at the uh, end of the uh, loop coming back around. I think there's only two sites past us, but we still have uh, lake access and a lake view, so very nice. All right, so this is the view from the backside of our campsite at Pilot Knoll Campground. It's in Highland Village, Texas. This is going to be Lake Louisville again. Taking the, the girls out for their morning business. Would you see the sights back up to the lake here? Pretty well spaced out sights. They're not full hookups. You're just going to have your electric and water, um, but they're still very nice sites. Lots of shade. We really like this place in the summertime just because of all the shade that it does offer, plus water access. Another view of some of the sites out here that back you right up to the water. Some decent sized rigs out here too. Gorgeous out here right now with all the leaves changing. I love the fall. All right, y'all, so that's gonna do it for this tour of Pilot and Old Campground in Highland Village, Texas. It's a very nice campground. All the sites are very well spaced apart from each other. You've got lots of distance in between you and your neighbors. It's great. Um, as far as summertime, I think it's even better. There's so many trees that you're gonna have a lot of shade. So in the summertime, probably a good place plus you've got the water right behind you so you can cool off um, only thing that this uh, park doesn't have which isn't uh, unusual is full hookups so uh, you are going to need to bring probably a waste tote with one of the rhino totes or something similar to that so that you can take your gray water to and from the uh, the dump station and then of course there's, there's the dump station on your way out so Nothing that we haven't dealt with before wouldn't keep us from staying here again. Again, it's only about $30 a night, so that's a really good uh, value for what you're getting out here. Lots of shopping, restaurants, um, even a movie theater right around the corner. So you're real close and convenient to all sorts of amenities within DFW. So if you haven't already, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you guys think, or what you'd like to see more of, and we will be back to see you again soon. Time to head back home. We'll be